Ladies and gentlemen, uh, just back from training. It's our first time to catch up with you. I was saying to you off camera that there's been so much going on in the last few weeks that it's been very difficult to find time to talk to players. And when was it you signed on again? Was it last week? Yeah, I signed on Friday. Um, signed Friday afternoon just after training. Um, unfortunately, my clearance and I came through until five past two on Saturday, which meant. Just after was, the team yeah, yeah. I was hoping it was going to come through in time. For me to be involved, but unfortunately, it was just I think 20 minutes too late, so um, I thought I was in the stand, but you know, hopefully, I'll get to go for tomorrow. Now, um, we're just saying, I, 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 I had a look at your record of where you've been and everything, and for me, I really remember you at Hamilton. That was the time, uh, nearly 200 appearances, was it? Something uh, like over that? 200, yeah. Over 200? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was there for the best part. 10, 11 years I think, um, so been quite a long time, you know, to be at one club, but you know, I'm thoroughly enjoying my time there and obviously had some great highs and um, obviously everything has to come, has to come to an end at some point, so, um, but no, like I, I learned my trade there and, you know, I'd like to say that I, 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 I left and had a good taste in the fans' mouths. Yeah, and you went to the D United since then, Wraith Rovers as well, you had uh, Derry City, and now you're United, and the big question is, why are United? Did you have other offers? Um, yeah, I had a couple of offers, um, um, but once I'd spoke to Mark, um, and once I came down and trained for a couple of days, I knew that I would really, really like to get some, something sorted. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed the training. I was in for the best part of three weeks before I managed to get something sorted. So um, I thoroughly enjoyed my three weeks. Um, training was good, and um, you know I was desperate to get something sorted to, to be to become a new player. And you know thankfully we managed to get the deal done. And you know I'm looking forward to to the game Friday. Now, what's it been like coming into the dressing room? Uh, what are the guys like? No, they're great. To be fair, they, they welcomed me for the minute I came in. Um, so I, I can't speak high enough for them. And you know, I, each one of them have, have you know, welcomed me in. And um, no, they're a good bunch. Now, what do we expect to see from you uh, when you're playing for the for United? Whereabouts in the pitch are you going to be? Uh, I see smiley, and it's as if the gaffer said to you, anywhere. But, you know. <laughs> well, to be fair, in my career, I've Played in numerous positions. Um, mainly, I, I would say I'm a mid central midfielder, more I'm predominantly um, as a six, like sitting in front of the back four. Um, but I have also played as an eight, as a ten, <laughs> as a right back, as a left back. So I've played a few positions, um, but predominantly, I, I would say my best position is central midfield. But it gives the ear the chance to have you. In many positions, if necessary. Yeah, if, if like you say, if necessary, you know what I mean. I'm, I'm, I'm open to, to help the team out as much as I can, and you know if I'm needed to, to play in that position, then you know I'll, I'll always try my best. I'll always give a hundred percent, and you know help the team out as much as I can. So, what do you think you'll bring to United? What's your style of play? Um, well, I bit everything. You know, I, I, I like to get on the ball and pass it. And I like to make tackles. I like, I've not scored many goals in my career, but you know I've, I like to chip in there and again, um, and I obviously just help the team as much as I can. Aaron, finally we catch up with you. Uh, we were trying to get to to speak with you the day you signed. Everything was going on. And this is the final chance we've got. We've got you today. Um, so you signed for air until the end of the season and alone from Ipswich. Um, but your experience is quite large. I mean, you're, you're not that old now, but you've got a yeah. great deal of experience. Uh, where have you been? Uh, been Sutton in the in the conference for. I think I was there for two three months. Um, then when I finished there, uh, I was at Waterford in Ireland for and a half to half a season there just before we went back to pre-season in Ipswich. Um, then we went there 
the preseason day, um, and then an opportunity came about to go to Sweden, um, which was interesting. But it's just something I'm glad I, I took the opportunity to go over and just see what it's like over there. Um, and yeah, obviously I'm, I'm here now, so I've been. I was just I was just hearing earlier that uh, getting here was a last minute thing. You just uh, did you get called? What happened? Yeah, so I came about um, just before we came here. I think about two weeks ago. We had to go to Germany for like a futsal tournament with the twenty threes, um, and that was on a Sunday. And I think it was like the Saturday that I got told that I'd be coming here on the Monday, so I had to fly straight from Germany to, to Glasgow. Um, so yeah, it was, it was quite short notice and that, but yeah, I'm here, so. Graham Miller was saying that you had one bag and you had it with you all the time, and that was the only thing you had with you. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was quick. I uh, only got one, one carry on book on, uh, obviously from, for the two flights that I had or whatever, so. Um, yeah, I was just living out of, living out of a suitcase really for the, for the first week, but uh, yeah, and then I think the following, or a couple of days later, um, I'm sorry, I stay, I was supposed to fly home on a Thursday, but obviously the gaffer wanted me to stay and play in that Ross County game, um, so flew home after that game, and then uh, to drive, drive from Ipswich to here with all, everything just packed in the car or whatever, um, and yeah, that took about eight hours, like, so it was quite long. You talk about that coming in almost straight away and going into the Ross County game. Mm. What was that like for you up against uh, Scottish Premiership opponents? No, it was good. Obviously, it was something, something that I was probably hoping for. Obviously, playing in that playing in that cup game, like you probably want to play against teams in the top division all the time, that sort of thing. Um, but now it was it was good to get out there and uh, we thought I'd done all right as well. A little handle myself, so uh, now it was a good experience. It's not a bad way to announce yourself to the United fans. They seem to have taken to you, your style. How would you describe your style to anyone who doesn't know you? Probably like to get in behind, probably defence and try sort of movement off the, the shoulder of the two centre backs either side. Um, and obviously, I like to score goals. Um, obviously, I haven't scored the, the first two games here, <laughs> but. Uh, no, I'm sure I'm sure that will come soon enough. But um, yeah, just running behind, um, obviously hold up the ball when the when the team needs to be, and um, obviously yeah, try get in the box and score a couple of goals. Now you've had experience with different clubs. What's it been like with the the training here uh, and the tactics here? No, it's been the training. The training's been good. I think the training's been it's probably sort of like the best training sessions I've had from the sort of three loans that I've been on. Um, I think everything's just the the gaffer expects like obviously training to be just hundred percent full on, um, and taking obviously everything serious and stuff. Um, and then sort of tactics thing, obviously it's a lot different to to being in Sweden. Uh, obviously over there it's just basically just a possession game, like we can keep the ball more. But obviously here it's, it's um, sort of like it's basically just a fight really in this sort of thing between different teams. Well. Obviously, the gaffer wants us to try to be on the front foot uh, for most of the games. Most of the games over here, so yeah. Friday night's uh, match against Partick Thistle, another TV match, but it's got a bit of spice because our ex manager is their manager now. And have you felt the passion that's come from fans or whatever about this game coming up? Yeah, now everybody's sort of been been speaking about it because obviously, obviously, yeah, I've heard that the. The ex gaffer was was obviously here, and then now he's gone there and stuff like that. So um, now the boys are buzzing for it, um, and obviously it's on TV, which gives it probably an extra bit, you know. And uh, now I'm really looking forward to it now. So what do you expect to get out of this loan period with there? Just really, obviously, it will add to my experience. I suppose I haven't really had a proper loan in sort of like England or Scotland, you know, where it's sort of I suppose. In the in the spotlight sort of things, you know, um, and obviously try help the team. Obviously we're looking or looking for the playoff spots, um, and obviously it'd be great if obviously I might set and obviously if we can get promoted, um, and I don't see why we can't. Uh, so hopefully, obviously 
experience, uh, game scores, and obviously if, if promotion comes, then uh, then happy days. Thanks very much, Aaron. No worries.